Hello and welcome. The Victoria Cross is Britain's highest military medal awarded for valour and courage in the presence of the enemy. It was introduced by Queen Victoria on the 29th of January 1856. It is surprising that, despite numerous heroics of the pilots of the Royal Air Force Fighter Command in the Second World War, only one pilot was awarded with the Victoria Cross, Flight Lieutenant James Brindley Nicholson. His action had been witnessed by people on the ground. To be heroically brave is not enough. It has to be witnessed. Evidence is that 21 VCs were awarded to RAF crew of mostly bomber squadrons in World War II. James Brindley Nicholson was born in 1917 in London. In 1936, he joined the Royal Air Force and in 1940, he was transferred to 249 Fighter Squadron as Flight Commander, where he fought in the Battle of Britain. Around midday on the 16th of August 1940, the Luftwaffe made two attacks on England, one in the east, where the main combat took place over Kent, and another formation headed over Sussex and Hampshire. At 12.30, British radar stations detected a big German formation heading towards Portsmouth. The Luftwaffe sent over 100 Stucker bombers, covered by more than 200 ME-109s, and 54 Messerschmitt 110s. The RAF sent five Hurricane Squadrons and one Spitfire Squadron to repel the attack. In total, 70 fighter aircraft. The targets were RAF bases in Tangmere, Gosport, HMS Daedalus, a fleet air arm base, and Ventnor radar station. Number 249 Squadron was sent to patrol and protect Portsmouth. Flight Lieutenant James Nicholson was Red Leader. Near Southampton, Nicholson saw three enemy aircraft and his section was ordered to attack it. Before they reached the Germans, the Spitfires attacked. On seeing this, Nicholson rushed back to his squadron, but before getting there, they were surprised by German fighters. In his report, Nicholson said that his plane received four cannon hits, the bullets damaged the canopy, hit him in his leg and set a gravity tank on fire. He was about to parachute out of his plane when he saw an enemy aircraft in front of his hurricane. He immediately pressed on the fire button and was pressing until the heat in the cockpit became unbearable. But this wasn't the end of his problems, as when he was descending, he was shot at by the Home Guard members. When he landed, he was taken to hospital in Southampton Burnt hands, burnt face, burnt neck and bullet wounds. For many years it was thought that Nicholson had been fighting with a BF-110, although it could have been a ME-109. The citation to his ward printed on the 15th of November 1940 assumed that he shot down the enemy aircraft, although he didn't mention shooting down anything in his combat report. Nicholson received his Victoria Cross on the 25th of November 1940, but he was very modest about his award and it took some time before he decided to attach the ribbon to his uniform. In March 1942, he left England and went to India, still serving in the RAF. On the 2nd of May 1945, he took part in a bombing mission as an observer in a B-24 Liberator. During the flight, one of its engines caught fire and the aircraft ditched in the Bay of Bengal. Nicholson's body was never found. Thank you for watching.